Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are discussing what is now my new Bible. It is Funny Weather, Art in an Emergency by Olivia Lang. And look, it's only barely out and I'm normally so precious with my book, but I took this with me on holiday and um, because I was so excited when I got it. And oh, it's all, it's all mangled, but it is a sign of love. I'm quite, as you can see, I'm quite precious about my books, but this one has seen a lot of love and a lot of wear already. And it has brought me such consolation and such joy and such uh, being seen is the phrase, isn't it? I felt really seen by this book. Olivia Lang. Okay, if you don't know who Olivia Lang is, she is an art writer par excellence. She is a well-known essayist based in London and an art reviewer. And she writes for many columns in magazines and journals, etc., and is commissioned for much work as well. And her writing has this wonderful skill. Olivia has a wonderful talent for bringing in humanity into the very prim and posh and self-absorbed art world. She is able to convey the meaning and the humanity and the emotions in art, whether that be the written word, visual arts, and able to connect them to human emotions and human experiences and to feel that art is accessible. These are a collection of essays that Olivia has written across many publications and many commissions over about the past five years or maybe five, six years. So you may have already read some of these before. I hadn't, um, but it is individually, they are amazing essays on individual artists and it will work. I mean, it's a phenomenal collection. I mean, you've got everyone from Basquiat to Hockney, Hilary Mantle, Ali Smith, Chantal Joff, Chris Krauss, Deborah Levy, Sally Rooney, Rauschenberg, Georgia O'Keeffe, Derek Jarman. That's an amazing section on Derek Jarman. Wolfgang Tillmans, Freddie Mercury, David Bowie. Big names. So fascinating insights into their work and uh, angles that Olivia wants to find to, to get into the work, to get under the skin and interrogate what it is that the artist is trying to examine about themselves, about society and what they're trying to convey and what we can commune about that, what we can really enjoy about that. But what I found, um, or what is the purpose of bringing this all together? This is dark, these are strange times, funny weather, is how art is critical and necessary and can get you through the darkest of periods. Uh, Olivia is probably, for readers of novels and books, probably better known for her book, The Lonely City, where she examined her own loneliness while she was living in New York against the backdrop in comparison with other famous artists who had lived and worked in the Big Apple. And that theme of finding um, links and strength through art and finding connection, vitality, the human experience, being able to connect through that and finding solace and community in art is the overarching message of these essays. It is about how art will nourish you and free you. And it is an incredibly empowering and emotional read, which is why I refer to it as my new Bible, because when I read Olivia's work, and certainly as I read the essays one after another on incredible artists with uh, amazing work and from such different circumstances it's it's really inspiring not just as a creative but just as a person that there is a life out there willing to be lived so as usual I'm going to read a little excerpt and because Olivia is well known for the lonely city there's a review of the lonely city on this blog somewhere ages ago I'm sure I was eulogizing about that then. I'm actually going to read the essay called The Future of Loneliness, where Olivia, I'm only going to read the first section, looks at how we are developing an online representation of ourselves that may or may not combat loneliness. A gigantic billboard advertising Android, Google's operating system appeared over Times Square at the end of last winter. In lowercase lettering, corporate code for friendly, it declared, be together, not the same. This erratically punctuated mantra sums up the web's most magical proposition. Its existence as a space in which no one need ever suffer the pang of loneliness, in which friendship, sex and love are never more than a click away, and difference is a source of glamour and not of shame. Like the city itself, the promise of the internet is contact. 
It seems to offer an antidote to loneliness, trumping even the most utopian urban environment by enabling strangers to develop relationships along shared lines of interest, no matter how shy or isolated they might be in their own physical lives. But proximity, as city dwellers know, does not necessarily mean intimacy. Access to other people is not by itself enough to dispel the weight of internal isolation. Loneliness can be most acute in a crowd. And from this introduction in this essay, Olivia will go on to discuss the likes particularly of Nighthawks by Edward Hopper, that very famous scene of loneliness. More than 70 years have passed since Nighthawks was painted, but its anxieties about connection have lost none of their relevance. Though our knees about the physical city has been superseded by fears regarding our new virtual public space, the internet. In the intervening years, we have entered, in a entered into a world of screens that extends far beyond Hopper's unsettled vision. And so this is the kind of um, form that the essays take, is that we look at particular human emotions, human experiences, and bring in artistic works, bring in certain artists who have interrogated that and who have examined that and who, if you look through their works, you can find solace and comfort. I love this book, Funny Weather, Art in Emergency by Olivia Lang. Um, you may well need to know a lot of the artist's work to do this. For example, if you don't know the work by Agnès Martin, uh, if you don't know work by uh, Derek Jarman, or you might not be entirely, or if you're not familiar with Joseph Cornell's particularly specific type of art, you may not get the most out of this. This is very much probably a book for those who are already familiar with a little bit of contemporary art. However, if you're curious, I really wouldn't dissuade you because you can always get up the internet as Olivia has already talked about, and look at the works themselves as you enjoy her words. But I found this, as a someone who enjoys art, immensely fulfilling. Funny Weather, Art in an Emergency by Olivia Lang.